Meatloaf once played for Newcastle United as an apology to the city. Meatloaf, whose death was announced on Friday morning at the age of 74, once featured in a charity shootout match at Newcastle as a way to apologize to the city. The rock star performed at the Northeast City plenty of times throughout his career, but on one occasion he thought he had feared he'd let Geordies down by cutting a Newcastle Arena concert short owing to throat problems in 2007. The singer, known for hits such as Bad Out of Hell and I Would Do Anything for Love, decided to it make up to the Geordie faithful by taking part in a charity penalty shootout at St. James Park, report the Newcastle Chronicle. It was an arranged auction, and the highest bidders were allowed to try their luck from the spot with Meat Loaf between the sticks in June 2008. It sounds fun for the people kicking the ball at me Meat Loaf said to the Chronicle. I'm not so sure how much fun that is for me. I'll just wing it. Magpie's legend Peter Beardsley even took a penalty against a recently deceased singer. Initially, he told bidders they would get free tickets to a Meat Loaf concert in Yorkshire if they managed to score past him. He gave them all tickets anyway, regardless of if they bagged or not. What are your best celebrity football crossover anecdotes? Let us know in the comments section Meat Loaf also matched the £5,000 raised by the auction to two cancer charities, Maggie's Cancer Care Center and the Toma Fund, which was taking donations to fund a teenage cancer unit. He added. My mother died when I was 17 years old from cancer, at the age of 54, which is very young, and my grandfather died from leukemia, so cancers run in my family. Meat revealed his fury that fans who went to his cut short concert were not automatically refunded because he had played for 70 minutes before walking off stage. A large dose of steroids used to treat his throat problem meant the singer could not continue performing. He said. I was in the room by myself and my assistant came back in and said you gave him 20 cc right? He said no, 100 and she started yelling at him, you did what? Are you nuts? That steroid affected me to such a point that I walked up and said sorry, thanks, I'm retiring. I didn't know what was going on. I stayed in the arena that night until 3am in my dressing room and I was so embarrassed and upset and didn't know what to do.